Hello there. Thanks for tuning in once again. Um, today I'm just coming through trying to answer one simple question that most of you guys have, which is why doesn't LTE Blaze or Zol LTE work on any 4G capable smartphone? So if you go to Tel One or Zol wanting to buy their LTE SIM cards, you'll most likely be told one of two things. If you go to Tel One, they'll tell you that you'll need a MiFi device for you to be able to use the SIM card in their network. And then if you go to Zol, they'll give you a list of phones and will ask you if one of your many phones is supported on their list of phones. And if it is, only then will you be able to buy the SIM. But wait, if my phone already does LTE on Econet or Net1, then shouldn't it just work with the SIM cards? I mean, isn't all LTE equal? Well, not exactly. And let me break it down for you. So let's go way back. Every wireless service uses invisible waves called radio waves. These waves are separated from each other by a phenomenon called frequency. So the difference between Star FM and ZFM is that on your radio, you can catch Star FM on 89.7 and ZFM on 106.4. These numbers are the frequencies where you find these two channels. Get it? Frequency? There we go. Same thing goes for every wireless service you can think of, whether it be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, television, DSTV, you name it. Now that we are all radio engineers, let's look at Tel One and Zol. These are two different operators offering LTE services. Similarly, we can look at them as two different radio stations, ZFM and Star FM. So to make sure that a device like a phone does not get confused as to who is who, each service provider uses their own frequency band or a group of these frequencies. The specific numbers are LTE band 40 and LTE band 20. This frequency is not limitless and so it needs to be managed, meaning we have fellas like Potras sharing the frequencies or as us engineers like to call it spectrum. Yeah, it's getting complicated. Don't worry, spectrum is just a fancy word for frequencies. This also means different countries or regions will have different bunches of frequencies available for carriers or service providers. Right, that's all of it from the side of service providers. Time to take the fight to our LTE capable smartphones. A good chunk of smartphones available in Zim right now are LTE enabled, meaning they can allow you some nice LTE download speeds if you have the data. But now these phones have a dark side. Remember moments ago I mentioned that each region has its own group of frequencies different from other regions. So some smartphone manufacturers only enable certain frequency bands to their phones to suit the corresponding region. For example, LTE bands range from 1 to 40. And for purposes of illustration, Zimbabwe only uses 4, which are 10, 20, 30, and 40. This means that a manufacturer can just enable those four LTE bands on a smartphone and disable the rest. That means if I go to a region where no service provider uses those bands, then either I am stuck with slower 3G or in a worst case scenario, I actually have no network. So personally, I was a victim of this in 2015. I had an LG G4 and it could only connect to LTE on Econet but could not connect to LTE on Net1. This is because Net1's LTE band was disabled on that particular phone. You see where I'm going with this, right? Your phone can support 4G LTE, but that doesn't mean it will work with every SIM. If it doesn't, then you can be sure that the network you're failing to connect to is using a frequency band that your phone does not support. It's not Tel1 or Zol's fault. It's your phone. So why do manufacturers do it if it's so much of a hassle? 
might be to save cost it might also be regulation in some regions and in some it may be conditions set by carriers if you are curious to find out more about this region locking scenario then just spam me in the comments and i might make another video on it but for now just know this unless you are sure of your phone just get the line in a MiFi router don't flip out on the sales team it's for your own good